Hello everyone and welcome back to the Digital Health Wire Show. My name is Jason Berry and I'm here live from Health Las Vegas, day two. And I'm joined today by Alex Lebrun, the CEO of NABLA. Alex, it's great to have you on the show. Hey, thanks Evan. So Alex, what are, we, what are we excited to be talking with people about sharing a health this year? So this year we are very excited to announce uh, NABLA Connect, uh, which is a plug and play, very simple way for EHRs to embed a powerful uh, ambient AI uh, inside their, their EHRs. And NABLA already had one of the wider EHR footprints in the space. You've been working with Evic for a while now. That relationship just recently got stronger. How does NABLA Connect take that a step further? So yeah, we are already uh, integrated with more than 20 uh, EHRs, including, of course, uh, Epic. Uh, but what we realize is that like, for the next 100 EHRs, uh, they are smaller, they don't have a lot of resources, mm -hmm. and it may take a lot of time for them to embed uh, ambient AI mm -hmm. yeah, with our API. So uh, we built uh, NABLA Connect for them, so that in a matter of uh, weeks, they can uh, embed ambient AI without having to rebuild all the UI. So we hope to cover the, the rest of the long tail of EHRs uh, very uh, easily for, with NABLA Connect. It seems like EHR integration is really important across the board for everyone in this exhibit all, especially important in this space, it's so core. Um, what are some of the success stories that a seamless EHR integration kind of unlocks for your users and customers? Uh, so for instance, a customer of us like uh, TI Clinic mm. uh, in New York, uh, they have their own uh, homegrown uh, EHR mm. and they used uh, NABLA APIs to embed a very powerful uh, documentation, AI documentation inside TI. Uh, very easily in a few weeks uh, mm -hmm. without uh, any any issue, any problem. Nice, awesome. Tia is a um, women's health clinic, if I'm not mistaken. Awesome. Um, as far as the platform itself, it's quickly growing beyond an ambient AI platform into an agentic AI platform, an agentic AI assistant. What What's the delineation between the two and what are some of the new capabilities that that yep. kind of unlocks? So our customers, uh, when we listen to them, they tell us, okay, documentation is, is nice, coding is nice, but I actually have many other workflows uh, that I like to uh, automate or simplify. Mm -hmm. And this is where Agentic, and sorry for the buzzword, <laughs> the hide, but <laughs> it's all right what now, we call but... Agentic is this ability uh, to launch agents to, to, to drive this long tail of automations, mm -hmm. very customized, very personal, no, not two providers use the same automations. Mm -hmm. um, and you want, so this is where you want to use to personalize, to build your own agents, mm -hmm. to go and drive these uh, different workflows, different tools. Mm -hmm. Some of them have no API, mm -hmm. and uh, the only way to work with these tools is to use uh, agentic integrations. It's really impressive to see how fast this technology has come. Just when we were first meeting together a couple of years ago at this conference to today, um, just the amount of new capabilities and the agents and whatnot. When you, if you can even peek into the crystal ball forward another two years, what, what are some, or even more recently than that, what are some of the transformations that clinicians might be able to see coming out of this new tech? So yeah, you mentioned uh, everything that happened in two years, it seems crazy today. Yeah. Two years ago, I do a very simple demo on the booth People think it's black magic, they're amazed. <laughs> they think, well, it's not possible. Somebody's hidden in the closet, you know, doing the... Yeah. And, and they want to know what it is. They have no idea what, what is AI, you know, can, can do for them. Fast forward two years, what we do is, you know, is obvious. People know what we do. They have very high expectations. They want very accurate, specialized, easy to personalize uh, AI uh, assistants. Yeah. Uh, and so it's, it's a bit hard to, to know where we'll be in two years because it's moving so fast. Right. Uh, but. We, we think people will, expectations will continue to grow, which is very good, and expect their uh, ambient AI to behave really like a, a full assistant, uh, helping them from morning to evening, uh, every clinician, mm -hmm. uh, for every task they do mm -hmm. along the day, nice. uh, administrative and more and more medical tasks as well, mm -hmm. with clinical decision support. Yeah. Uh, so I, we think people will really have um, a seamless uh, pervasive, uh, very smart you know, AI assistants mm -hmm. uh, working for them um, in two or three years. It will come faster than we uh, imagine today. Well, I'm not exactly a clinician, but I could probably use that AI system myself. Um, it's, a, it's an 
awesome future to look forward to. Thanks for uh, taking us along Thanks, the way. Jason. Thanks so much. Hello, everyone. That's been the Digital Health Wire Show. Thanks for tuning in. We will catch you next time.